All right, so here we are, last trip in Italy, Italy, Italy. Um, cargo's a digger 1000, which I keep expecting to be a machinery on, or a piece, a heavy piece of equipment on a flatbed, but again, we're hauling a, uh, just a box trailer from Milano to Livo, Livo, Livorno, 10 hours and 33 minutes on the contract, stand to make 6,888 euros, and I just noticed down here that I have 107,796 euros, I have one garage, one truck, and two drivers, we won't, we'll go into that later, <coughs> my other driver, but because I'm doing this, what I'm doing, just jumping from truck to truck to truck to truck. Well, profit last seven days, 150,000 euros. And that's because I'm able to, my driver with my other truck has to make a delivery, has to pick up a delivery, has to rest somewhere along the way. So I'm able to she's on her second second run I think I did three runs the time it took her to do her first run and it was a 608 kilometer run uh, so I'm doing like this is my fourth or fifth run and she's on a return trip and well let's just look company manager uh, garage uh, hundred percent productivity daily, twenty-one thousand euros. Let's go here to Ella, and let's go to her log. Uh, she's delivered one load of something, six hundred eight kilometers, seventeen thousand, almost eighteen thousand, eighteen thousand euros profit. She's on the way back with that. Ryapal Schmidt. Uh, she's got five hours to go. And I've made, I think this is my fifth load, and she hasn't made two yet. So that's how the, that's how much different it is just driving company trucks and making these deliveries that I'm doing. Or doing this discovery type driving. Whereas she has to, right now she's on duty. Uh, I think last time I checked, uh, you know, the run before this, I think she was on, uh, uh, she was resting somewhere. So, anyway, back here. Okay, so we're driving a Iveco Stralis Active Space Super. 500 horsepower, 2300 newton power, or newton newton meters of torque, with the uh, ZFAS Tronic transmission gearbox. So, and it's uh, what one o'clock in the morning. There we are. And it's bright enough. Well, let's let's uh, let's turn on our lights. Oh, isn't that pretty? There. Got her picture. That's showing a Fenwick with a forklift on it. So, I don't know. I, mean, I think I looked up Digger 1000, and that's just a game. Something in the game. So, let's jump in the cab. Oh, look at all the red in here. That's not nice. I think this is all untextured or whatever. Okay, so let's start the truck. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah, 
there's something wrong with the texturing on this truck. Either I've mismodded or I don't know. So, okay. Turn on our headlights. It's going to be an ugly trip. Oh, how do I get out of here? Back there somewhere. Well, let's get out of the truck for a second. Uh, not over there. Oh, right there. Okay, never mind. Alright, up the ramp and out. Okay. tell with all that stuff going on in there. Alright, there we go. Alright, get comfy here. Get our wheel back. And I think... Whoops! That must be that load of pipes then. Lights. Let's roll up a little bit farther. Stick our nose out here. Yeah, let's go. Whoa! Hi there. something wrong with the dashboard here. I just noticed that the the dials aren't uh I need to get over. Is going to me over? No. Yes, no, maybe, no, he's not. Yeah, I just noticed the dials over here don't match the Seems like this would be one of the SCS trucks that would. Uh, huh.
I might have to take some mods off. Like that, uncontrolled intersections, that's really... Yeah... Yeah, this dash is all screwed up. I've just got red things all over the place in the truck here. This isn't... This cab is all... All messed up. My steering wheel doesn't... Yeah, I just realized my steering wheel doesn't turn. Driving all this time, just realized the steering wheel doesn't uh, doesn't move. Ninety. We're just screaming along in the dark here. Okay, let's set the cruise control. Oh, the guy in the lane. Sorry. take some of your cues from the steering wheel turning on the truck, since it's not.
so much. driving through molasses or something. Slow way down and all of a sudden it gets you back up. Slow way down. Everything gets you back up. Slightly different trip, same place, going this winding up on the same place, but in fact, we even cross over the road. Just want 
want to take this to whoa, different route. Cruise control. Oh, he's smashing the wall. Turn circle, <coughs> left, right turn circle up here in the same spot. Got needles for gauges where there aren't gauges. There we go, back through the molasses again.
through the toll booth here. down this way we would have got in straight into town through the main drag there but I've got something to find here oh it's a dealership a Veco dealership think oh no never mind oh, I was thinking it was the one with the whoop de doo down in behind there I think it's actually easy park I just got confused. I was thinking it was the same as that one that was where you had to park down in the park down the hole with all the other trailers. Okay. New 
Here's our exclusive Jimco backup. Forward flushers. Oh, they were. There we are. Four way flushers off. Out of gear. Set the parking brake. And let's disconnect the trailer. Digger 1000 delivered from Milano to Livorno. 348 kilometers, 5 hours, 41 minutes. 172.3 liters of fuel. Uh, 6,888 euros, 393 experience points. Okay, that's it for this job. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, press like or a thumbs up. Uh, some people says it helps them out. If it does, I haven't quite figured that one out yet. Uh, I need to look it up. I uh, want to keep following and seeing what I'm doing, where I'm going next, whatever, what part of Europe I'm going to. You can subscribe and get updates occasionally. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and that's the end of this video.